Hi gamers! Before we delve into the games that I've bought recently, I'm happy to tell you that I'm going to Japan again. It's actually my fourth time, but this time it's a bit different. I'm going there on work. Uh, finally get to go to Tokyo Game Show, which is later this week. I've been to E3 twice and uh, San Diego Comic Con once, so now completing my personal Trinity Tokyo Game Show, finally. I'm going to uh, work in Tokyo a few days and uh, then I'm going to take a few days off uh, just on holiday. Uh, once I'm, uh, I'm there, I might as well uh, enjoy myself uh, a little bit, of course. I'm going to be <laughs> doing some major game shopping there, I, I promise you. Uh, and uh, uh, So stay tuned for my fourth uh, recent collecting from Japan, uh, maybe, maybe even in a week. And uh, if you want to know uh, how I'm doing there, uh, follow my Twitter and Instagram. I'm FinGamer on both accounts. So, uh, let's see what games I've had here. Uh, first, uh, actually these are all Nintendo. Uh, I got here five Switch games, four 3DS games and two Wii U games. So this was actually a really good, uh, a really good month for my Wii U collecting. Uh, first, we got a brand new Wii U release, uh, the uh, third all-in-one package for Dragon Quest X, version 1 to version 4. So this has uh, the base game and uh, all three expansions here. And uh, yeah, really, really happy that they, they made another uh, physical Wii U release. And uh, the next uh, Wii U game here is... Uh, it's uh, it's uh, one of the rarer Wii U games uh, there is. Here we have the uh, premium edition of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Now this was only released uh, in Germany and uh, it's just a, a slightly thicker cardboard box which includes the game and uh, some stickers that you can stick onto your controllers. So that's basically it. But uh, uh, very rare and uh, very pricey. <laughs> but uh, happy to add this to my collection. And uh, with these, uh, I'm actually nearing uh, the point where I'm going to do the uh, complete uh, Wii U game collection video. Uh, still missing just a few variants, but uh, I've had all the uh, unique games uh, all together for quite a while now and uh, next month when uh, Just Dance is coming out uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do do the complete uh, video with or without Axiom Verge I think it's just vaporware at this point then for the 3DS we got here uh, the double feature Yokai Watch Blasters uh, White Dog Squad and Red Cat Corp And uh, then we have WarioWare Gold, which is you know I I just I just love WarioWare. I, I played all all WarioWare games through and through, and uh, but still the best one is uh, the GameCube version. It's the same as the first game in the series from the Game Boy Advance, but uh, instilled with uh, crazy multiplayer uh, games. And uh, yeah, uh, this is a really nice collection. It has uh, everything. Uh, games from uh, from all, all the games you have, uh, you know, uh, the uh, like you like it says here uh, in the back. You have mash, which is basically you use buttons like you did in the first game, touch like you did in the DS game, twist like uh, actually you could twist it uh, with uh, on a Game Boy Game Boy Advance version where you were twisted or on, on the Wii and a mic, uh, which is which was also on on the Wii and. Uh, uh, Wii U as well, so games from uh, all over the WarioWare series, just love WarioWare. And uh, it's a nice segue into the Switch games, also got Captain Toad, both for the 3DS and the Switch. 
And uh, Captain Toad was a really pleasant surprise on the Wii U. And yes, this is one of those uh, Wii U ports, and uh, they just announced that they're going to be doing uh, New Super Mario Bros. U as well on the Switch. So I, I think of the major, uh, major games that are still missing, like Mario uh, 3D World and Pikmin 3. <laughs> so let's see if they're going to port over those as well. But yeah, Captain Toad, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's just a wonderful game. Uh, great puzzling. It's. Uh, it is a tad easy uh, on the first half, so you kind of have to play it a bit uh, for it to become uh, challenging. But uh, of course, in true Nintendo fashion, it's uh, easy to go through, uh, you know. But uh, it's uh, it's quite hard to get all the collectibles, uh, all the diamonds, and uh, uh, stuff like that uh, of the of the levels. And it looks gorgeous. Uh, it's uh, it was really a really a stroke of genius for Nintendo to use the same engine and uh, you know it, it looks like uh, exactly like it did in the 3D world as well and uh, uh, with some Super Mario Odyssey content as well some new levels so that's very welcome continuing here with the Switch games but SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy which is basically just fan service you know it's it's not that <laughs> that great that deep of a fighting game but uh if you love snk games uh it's a cool cool little uh, project and uh continuing here with the switch uh we got go vacation and uh, let's be fair, uh, Bandai Namco didn't really uh, utilize uh, the Switch's graphical capabilities here. The game does look quite dated. But uh, there is a lot of content, uh, that's that's for sure. But uh, basically this is this is a game for kids. Uh, Finn Gamer Jr. loves the game. There uh, are dozens and dozens of different mini-games. And uh, even the hub worlds, uh, Finn Gamer Jr. just loves, uh, you know, roller skating around the city and uh, uh, yeah, uh, lots of lots of distractions here. Yeah, 50, 50 different uh, mini games, and uh, yeah, all can be played with uh, four-player, couch, uh, uh, multiplayer. And uh, uh, Finn Gamer Jr. was playing this with his cousins, and uh, they all had had a great time. Even even uh, uh, one cousin that uh, you know isn't very uh, good at playing games. Uh, uh, she has, uh, doesn't have that much uh, experience, but uh, yeah, Go Vacation was uh, perfect for her as well. So, if you're looking for uh, a simple but entertaining um, multiplayer game for your kids, Go Vacation it's, uh, it's not bad. And, uh, sorry about the glare. Uh, here we have the uh, Traveler's Compendium edition of Octopath Traveler. Check out the uh, unboxing of this if you already haven't. And uh, I've, full disclosure, I'm not that far into the game, but uh, so far I've, I've loved it. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the best looking, you know, faux retro game. There is faux 16-bit game. Uh, Square just... Uh, it's, it just looks magical. I love it, and uh, it's uh, you know, especially on paper, it uh, it sounds really really ambitious with the eight characters and all that. Uh, I've heard that it does get a bit repetitive uh, uh, towards the end, but uh, so far I've, I've had really 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 fun times with the game, and uh, it's really moody graphics and uh, yeah, I love love the music and uh, yeah, everything just uh, just. Uh, Looks really great, and I and I I, I love the uh, little uh, flip out uh, book here. It's uh, not uh, I, I think uh, was it Rayman Legends on the 360 uh, had a similar you know pop up a book, but uh, that kind of thing isn't that uh, that common in uh, special editions, and it fits perfectly into this game. And one final Switch game here. We got the new Nintendo Labo, and uh, this is the. If I can just fit this into the screen, no, I can't. <laughs> Let's just tilt the camera a bit. So there we go. Uh, Toycon Zero uh, Three Vehicle Kit, and uh, yeah, uh, you got here a steering wheel and a pedal, uh, and. Uh, 
uh, you know, you've got a flight stick and uh, this futuristic uh, you know, uh, driving gear here. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, in the pre uh, in the recent collecting video where I had my first two Labo kits, yes, people, these are for kids. <laughs> That's for sure. You know, the the games are really uh, I don't want to say shallow, but you know, they're toys, uh, as as the name suggests, toy cons. Uh, but that doesn't uh, mean that uh, you know adults can't uh, have pleasure uh, from building these. I just love it. If you're the kind of person that loves, uh, you know, tinkering away, building models and, uh, uh, you know, arts and crafts, and this is uh, a really nice product. The uh, uh, foldable kits uh, are really top notch. They're very inventive. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, just a pleasure to uh, see the uh, uh, creations uh, get built. And uh, then you get the added bonus of uh, you know watching your kid just uh, just loving uh, loving the uh, uh, you know the tangible uh, fun that you can have with this, and uh, uh, it works works very differently than than you know just regular video games. And uh, for that, uh, I really have to commend Nintendo. Uh, so that's it for this uh, collection update video and uh, I think my next video will be uh, from Tokyo. We'll see. <laughs> no promises uh, if it's going to come out uh, from Tokyo or if I'm going to upload it from, from Finland. But uh, yeah, let's see what kind of games I can find there this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.